Hello, my name is Greg Eckel. I'm Portfolio Manager for Canadian General Investments Limited. Uh, we are a closed-end fund and uh, it started in 1930, so we're one of the oldest in, in North America. We're focused primarily in Canada, uh, in equities, publicly traded for the most part, and we have a total return bias focus, uh, so we have a dividend yield and also we're, we're looking at growth. Well, the closed-end fund structure is really a, the wrap around an actively managed uh, portfolio. And so a lot of the emerging markets, and I'll include Canada maybe in that as being a slant on a smaller market, uh, sometimes they're less well known and it gives an investor an opportunity to invest uh, with perhaps limited knowledge, uh, intimate knowledge, and allows them to be professionally managed and allows them for that exposure, perhaps on a country or a theme. Well, again, you're just narrowing that focus down so you're, um, you've already made the choice perhaps of going into that narrower focus, I think you have to make that choice from the macro perspective first and then allow it to drive down into the micro, uh, micro part of the conversation. Yeah, well, so Canada, I mean, our biggest uh, trading partner is the United States. Uh, so we have a, have a link there, a pretty substantial link. Sometimes when uh, people are looking at resources, obviously Canada is a, um, a desirable uh, place to go to. Uh, our stock market is about a third uh, related to uh, energy and materials, materials meaning mines and, and chemicals and, and the like. So um, it has a strength a bias to that from uh, that perspective. A lot of companies list in Canada uh, from a capital uh, gathering perspective, but also we're diversified uh, in, in manner of economy. So our GDP growth, for instance, last quarter was uh, the highest of the G7 countries. So we have other things happening in that space. From a perspective of portfolio management, um, it gives us, us an opportunity to swing the cycle of resources to non-resource uh, when you feel and, and that the resource bias is perhaps off and allows us to maintain and to uh, give investors uh, perhaps a blended return over the long term uh, perhaps is more beneficial to them. And in fact, if you look at long term uh, returns from a Canadian perspective relative to our peers, which we consider global opportunities, we're usually in the middle of the pack over the longer term. So if you can play that cycle, you can add a uh, return to your uh, shareholder base. And also you can attract at times when things do get uh, perhaps more positive uh, from a resource perspective, you can attract more um, shareholders to your particular fund. Well, I think, uh, I think uh, basically the closed end fund wrap uh, allows one to think more longer term. And I think that's key to an investor. Uh, for instance, our fund, Canadian General Investments, doesn't play necessarily on themes. It invests for the longer term and reflective of that, the portfolio turnover in, in our fund perhaps uh, is, is in the low mid uh, teens portfolio. So we're holding uh, an average investment uh, usually in about the seven or eight year uh, timetable range, which we find is, is probably prudent investing, particularly for a conservative investor. So we think uh, CGI offers that to an investor. And at the same time, while you're waiting through that piece, we also uh, give yield, which trading at a discount, and I think CIFA has a good couple tables on their, on their website, the benefit of longer term investing at a discount uh, shows remarkably on total return uh, to the shareholder himself.